Hello everyone, welcome to the yarn bowl. In this video, we'll see how to crochet this beautiful spring floral earrings. I made this using size 8 cotton crochet thread. If you want a free written pattern of these earrings, it's available in my website, theyarnbowlcrochet.com. Link for that is available in the description. And if you have an Instagram account, do follow me on my Instagram handle as well. I post project updates and fun deal on my Instagram. And if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bone and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. I'll be using this size 8 cotton crochet thread to work this uh, earrings. Uh, you can use any size 8 cotton crochet thread uh, for working this earrings. You'll need uh, uh, earring hoops and I'm going to use 1.25 millimeter crochet hook. You can buy these uh, cotton crochet thread from Amazon and I'm going to use 1.25 millimeter crochet, um, crochet hook. And we'll also need uh, glue, white glue and water for blocking this earrings for uh, round one uh, start with a magic ring and then work a chain two and then work double crochet together this will be our first double crochet two together and then after that work a chain one in between and then we are going to repeat working double crochet two together followed by a chain one space seven more times our starting chain two double crochet together is considered as our first double crochet two together. So I have worked my second double crochet two together and then I'm going to work a chain one space now. And then I'm going to repeat this double crochet two together and a chain one space another six more times. So we have already worked two of uh, two sets of double crochet two together and chain one space and I'm going to work double crochet two together and chain one space six more times so on total we'll have eight sets of double crochet two together with in between chain four chain one spaces at the end of round one go ahead work double crochet two together and chain one around until you have eight double crochet two together with in between chain one spaces Once you have completed working 8 sets of double crochet 2 together with in between chain 1 space, I am going to tighten the magic ring and then I will work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 2 double crochet together and then tighten the magic ring and secure it with a knot. So this will be the end of our round one and now before proceeding to round two I'm going to work a slip stitch onto the next chain one space and then we'll proceed with our round two. For round two I'm going to work a chain two. So we're going to work on every chain one space of round one. So for round two I'm going to start off work with a chain two and then I will once we have worked our chain two I'm gonna work double crochet two together chain two double crochet two together so this will be considered as our first double crochet three together and then work a chain one and then work uh, one more double crochet to three together on the same chain one space so we have worked chain two double crochet two together which is our first double crochet three together and then we worked a chain one and then we worked double crochet three together on the same chain one space now we have two sets of double crochet three together within between chain one space and then work a chain one again this chain one 
is to take us to the next chain one space of our round one because we are going to work stitches only on the chain one space of the round one and on the next chain one space of the round one we are going to work another set of double crochet three together chain one double crochet three together So on each chain one space of round one we are going to work double crochet three together chain one double crochet three together and then after that set is complete we work a chain one to reach to the next chain one space and we in the next chain one space I'm gonna again work double crochet three together chain one double crochet three together and once that is complete work a chain one so now I'm working my second double crochet three together and I'm working a chain one and then I'm going to continue working this round so on each chain one space of round one I'll have double crochet three together chain one double crochet three together and each set of this double crochet three together chain one double crochet three together is separated by a chain one space so we'll have eight sets of double crochet three together chain one double crochet three together with in between chain one spaces after working my last chain one i'm going to work a slip stitch on top starting uh, chain two double crochet two together to complete this round two and then I'll work a slip stitch on the next chain one space so that's the end of our round two so for round three we're gonna work a chain one which does not count as a stitch and then we will go ahead work one single crochet on the same stitch on the next chain one space we are gonna work a cell stitch which consists of one half double crochet five double crochet stitch and then one half double crochet all worked on the same chain one space so that's our third one fourth one and then fifth one of double crochet stitch and then I'll work one more half double crochet on the same stitch and once I'm done with that I will work one single crochet on the next chain one space and then I will work one half double crochet, five double crochet, one half double crochet on the next chain one space. So we'll repeat working one single crochet in one stitch and one cell stitch which has one half double crochet, five double crochet, one half double crochet on the next chain one space. So repeat working one single crochet in one chain one space and one cell stitch on the next chain one space around and once done work a slip stitch on top of your starting single crochet to close this round three so that will be the last round for working this earrings So now I'm done with my earrings. I'm going to work uh, my last stitch, which is the slip stitch onto the um, starting single crochet stitch. And then I'll fasten off and then I'm going to go ahead, weave the ends and then snip off the extra thread that I may ha have. And we have pretty much worked the earring. We just need to do one more step it's not very stiff as you can see we're going to block this with one part of glue and one part of water and then dip the work in that and add dry it for a day so this is a blocked 
earring this one is very stiff and we are going to block the earrings that we are going to make and then we will add a earring hoop to the earrings so that's it the floral earrings are spring floral earrings are done you can follow the same pattern for blocking I have a tutorial in which I have shown the blocking instruction clearly you can find the link in the description for blocking instruction and uh, here it is the spring floral earring is ready so I made these earrings in many different colors they all turned out very pretty I made them in one set in purple and other set in yellow so they are super bright and I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow try this at home and let me know your comments if you want a free written pattern of these earrings it's available in my website the link for that is available in the description if you have an instagram account do follow me on my instagram handle as well i post project updates and fun reels on my instagram i hope you enjoy the video please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well thanks for watching bye